been reporting on the fact the state already has an acute shortage of medical grade masks and other equipment. Well, now a task force will be addressing that crucial issue. It's called Create for COVID. It brings universities, medical professionals, and engineers all together to look for ways to create a supply chain right here in Colorado. CBS 4's Mackenzie O'Keefe on that story tonight. Mackenzie, we know the group is developing way to share ventilators in case hospitals run out of beds. Yeah, that's right. The hope is that multiple patients will never have to use one single ventilator. But some students here at Red Rocks Community College are saying that if that becomes the issue, they have some plans that could help out the medical industry. I was really, you know, banging my head and really wanted to do something. Seeing what's happening in Italy and Seattle, ICU Dr. Karsten Bartles was looking at how to prepare for a possible shortage of medical equipment in Colorado. He began by sending an email to engineering departments at schools across the state. I just put in the, in the line, ICU doc at Anschutz needs your help. Immediately, students at Red Rocks Community College jumped in, creating a shared ventilator prototype with a 3D printer. We started rapid prototyping designs um, uh, in our homes. With the help of medical professionals around the state, this is what they created and successfully tested this week at a local hospital. There's still some things that we, we have to work out. Um, we demonstrated today that uh, we can maintain flow control uh, at, at varying compliance, uh, two different compliant lungs. They'll continue looking into the design and research. We're trying to find a, an equation or a graph that we can use uh, to determine pressure versus flow rate, um, just based upon what the machine's giving out. While the device is not medically approved and won't necessarily be used, the idea is to come together to be prepared for a potential need in the future. I want to be overprepared. There's been too much underpreparing. So if we are in a scenario where we have to do things that we think uh, never thought would be possible, I just want to be prepared. Now, this Red Rocks team says they are working with a local company to look at those regulations to possibly make this a medical grade equipment one day in the future. They also are working on making those masks that we know so many healthcare workers are in desperate need of right now. For now, we're live in Lakewood, Mackenzie O'Keefe covering Colorado first. And several Colorado